What's going on, y'all? We're back with another reaction video today. We have Roger McCreary, cornerback from Auburn, 5'11, 189, uh, 40 times a 4'5. We're gonna head and check him out. Uh, says McCreary was an excellent, was excellent in 2020, recording three interceptions, six passes defended, and one forced fumble and 45 tackles. That's a good stat line for a corner. While he's in the biggest corners, McCreary has excellent coverage skills to run the route and prevent separation. He is fast, athletic, and instinctive. In 2019, he collected 36 tackles, an interception, and 11 passes broken up. Good numbers. McCreary is a good player, but he lacks the size for the NFL. He could be a perfect fit as a nickel corner. He's 5'11". Why did why he... 5'11", 189. What's so bad about that? Bro, that's, that's good size for a cornerback. Maybe, I guess, maybe he looks small on film or something. I don't know. That's good size for for NFL corner. Um, he could be a perfect fit as a nickel corner who also plays some on the outside with his quickness, instincts, and agility. He is reliable to run the route and prevent separation. Teams are concerned about how he will survive on the outside at the next level because his arms are all alarmingly short. But he's a talented corner who blanks receivers. He recorded 49 tackles, 14 passes defended, and two interceptions at 21. All right, man. Wow, he's just going better and better. Um, some teams see him as a second rounder, although... Others have him possibly going off the board late in round one, and another had him as a top 20 pick. He has a wide range where he could come off the board in the 2022 NFL draft. All right, we're going to check out his draft profile, 5'11", 190, 4'5", 40. Uh, says, press man, cornerback with physical limitations. They compared him to Rocky as seen. Rock, I feel like Rock is bigger, but odd. Press, I don't know. Press man, corner with physical limitations that could create. Uh, what just happened? Occasional roller coaster matchups on Sundays. McCreary is aggressive with the play strength to bully re the release and alter route timing. He lacks fluidity in lateral transitions from off man and lacks makeup bursts to stay connected to cross country routes. Tall receivers have advantages on jump balls and fades. Finding catch space will be a chore for opponents when he's in phase on vertical routes. Okay, so he does well when it comes to uh, keeping up with the man down the field. He has average starting talent as cornerback two or three, but needs to operate in a scheme that allows him to play hugged up coverage, limiting operating space for wideouts. It's kind of contradicting in a sense because it's like it talked about his size on Walter football, but he has good size. So it made me think, like, OK, maybe he's just not physical as a corner, you know, so maybe that's where they uh, are knocking him at. Turns out it's not that because NFL talks about him being a physical press man corner. So uh, I don't know what entirely Walter football was, I don't know. I don't know. It seemed like they were kind of off a little bit with, uh, with their uh, analysis on him. But his strengths, it says, compact with impressive play strength, ability to put the receiver's release in neutral, plays the role of irritant and press man, uses physicality to rough up uh, Penn State wide receiver Jahan Dotson. So how, how did he do that game? Y'all let me know the stat line uh, that, that Jahan had. Uh, suffocates receiver space when operating on a vertical plane. Plays with the recognition and two route response against combo routes. Highly disruptive against Alabama. Rakes through receiver's hands to alter catch catch chances. Tough face up tackler who drives through his target. So definitely, they talked about his aggressiveness when he plays. Weaknesses: lacks playmaking and tackling length. Taller wideouts can play above the rim on him. Okay, okay. Oops, what's his vertical? Oh, he didn't jump. Oh, okay. Uh, needs better foot patience to mirror crafty release routes. Takes time to flip hips into sprint mode, allows separation at the break point, requires better eye balance from off man, slight stall in his plant and drive mechanism, short stepping hinders closing quickness in space. Who do you get drafted by again? Titans. I feel like that's, that's a good fit. That's a good fit. Um, He's not a cover three corner, so I doubt pro teams will use him like Auburn did. I love him. His playing style can be intimidating if you are physically weak. Personal director for AFC team. So that's what sources tell us. We're going to go ahead and check him out. Shout out to Just Bombs for the highlight video. Let's see. Let's see. Bama receivers. Good play. He was on his hip. Mm. Oh, that's Mechie. Okay. Ooh. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. 
that, that type of play gets you drafted right there. Oh my gosh. That's one of those picks on Madden. He do a screen, corner jump the route, but he he was on him. Like that's that was sick. Wow. Oh, the amazing interception. I ain't gonna lie. Roger McCreary. Smoke Monday was not one of the guys in on the stop, but Smoke Monday. I gotta check him out. I heard his name a few times. Here comes the rip. Oh, good play. Okay, okay. So how did he do on Mechie? Wow. I don't even think he got it into high gear. They they who who was who was the quarterback they drafted last year? They 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 First down to the end zone, incomplete. They drafted a good a good D B last year too. I can't remember who his what his name was, but Titans doing their thing, I ain't gonna lie. Trying to trying to rebuild, you know. I feel like they getting players who are ready now, in my opinion. He looks like a ready now type of guy. Deep ball on the sideline. Okay, Walk, he walking with Jamison Williams. Okay, oh nice. Even this far in his own zone. I see him down there. Okay. Oh, Miss had a uh, some solid receivers too. They had the uh, Drummond and uh, it was another guy I think. Phillips. Good play. Wow. All right, all right. He got so beat, but he made up. Franklin not using a timeout on first down. Clifford looked downfield, launches, and right in the traffic. Hey. Picked off inside the five-yard line by Roger McCreary as he makes his first mistake of the half. He played some notable receivers, so uh, that's good That's good to see. Well, you know, time, good to see a, a DB who actually plays some, you know, young, top competition. Wow, bro, he was on Mechie. Right. Bryce Young, it's right in his face as he Sticking with him. It's like that aggressive play style can 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 hurt you. Oh, good play. It can hurt you, but it's helpful as well. So we'll see how he how he adjusts. You know, because it's pro, pros and cons to it. You know, so if he uh, doesn't get uh, beat when it comes to the cons by it. Uh, if y'all get what I'm saying. But we'll end it there. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed.